Malaysia, Thailand. Vietnam, Singapore. I love Cambodia, it's very beautiful. There's not as much of a red light feel about it. Uh, it's still more untouched okay. than Thailand. We're back in Thailand and in this video I'm trying to find out what people's favorite places are in Southeast Asia. We're gonna approach some random people here in the streets of Chiang Mai to seek for some travel stories and also to find out what people's favorite places are in Southeast Asia. We've traveled for Almost a year in Southeast Asia, so yeah, no way. Yeah. we've been familiar with Last the countries. Year. Yeah. Sorry? Last year. Where have you been? Oh, where have we been? Ooh, we've been in Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, of course, uh, Singapore, Vietnam, Laos. Philippines? Uh, no, no, not the Philippines. Philippines. In Indonesia, I hear a lot of Bali, Bali, Bali. I love Bali myself, yeah. but I also uh, love the, the rest of Indonesia. Yeah. Have you explored a little bit there? No, uh, not, not much. much. No, uh, we did Bali and uh, I think we did an island as well. Yeah, uh, like one of the, Gili the Gili Islands. Islands. Oh, yeah. One okay. of them, okay. yeah, when we were younger, so yeah, that's, the, that's the party a island. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a while ago. What was your favorite experience in Southeast Asia? Favorite experience? I think for well, me, it's, yeah, yeah I think ahead. for me it was in Vietnam and then the Hajong Loop. We okay. did the Hajong Loop with the motorcycle and that yeah. was amazing. Did you do this with a guide or with... No, just, just by ourselves, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We try yeah. to do everything on ourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty much. So what yeah. was so spectacular about this trip? The scenery, yeah. uh, for sure. And the adventure. The, yeah, the <laughs> adventure, uh, the unexpected uh, things yeah. Yeah. on the road. People that you okay. meet, yeah. That, that was the experience. Maybe the location is different. Do you have a special place in Southeast Asia? Well, our favorite country is Bangkok. Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Why? Well, Both you're saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You, you have everything over here. Yeah. So the nature, the islands, uh, the, the wild, rough cities, yeah. and uh, everything in one country, yeah. in one place. Yeah. And uh, the connections in Thailand are, yeah. are very easy uh, yeah. by train, bus, yeah. uh, oh, like this. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. the air. Yeah. Yeah. And food, of course. Yeah. Food's just the best people. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to say that a lot of people, they're choosing Thailand, but yeah. I realize I am doing this in Thailand at the moment. I'm doing this throughout Southeast Asia. So if you have to pick an, a second best, which, which place, yeah, which the, country? The thing, it's, it, it's very hard because every country has their own uh, yeah. specialties and, and yeah, but Beautiful maybe things. maybe second place for me was Vietnam. For me, yeah, because it's still pretty rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. untouched. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, more than Thailand. Yeah, I, yeah. I think. Yeah. And what's your favorite place within Thailand? Well, you don't want to give that away. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Chiang Mai or Bangkok. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, those are the best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there something that you don't like about your favorite country? What I don't like is the taxis in Bangkok try to scam you uh, yeah. the people who try to scam you it is uh, it, it, lately especially after covid I, i've been there it, within covid and yeah. uh, every time they turn on the meter but they don't want to turn the meter on anymore yeah. oh yeah, that's yeah, true yeah. Yeah, yeah we had the same we were here also around covid, during COVID. yeah during yeah. covid then it was really quiet and everything but yeah so what do you do then what do you recommend for people visiting bangkok for the first time and want to grab a taxi uh, uh, yeah uh, insist on well, the meter or just use grab it's a bit safer and or yeah. public transportation yeah or public transportation you can get the okay bus from that. the airport as well yeah. it's really cheap i think it's around 50 baht, 50 baht per like person that. yeah, yeah. So you've been all over southeast asia so what is then can you give us another highlight of your trip what should people really do some things maybe that we don't hear a lot or you did not expect for me it's going to the most untouched and, and which which place have you discovered that was quite untouched i liked uh Fientien in laos yeah yeah oh, that was yeah. very nice uh, it's still more untouched okay. than thailand that was my opinion yeah, yeah i think so too man i'm a soldier of 40 years okay so, so i've traveled all over asia We're basically focusing on southeast asia i've been to all of them <laughs> really actually <laughs> yeah i like the philippines okay. uh, it's much more rural if you if you feel at home in chaos then the philippines is gorgeous <laughs> right. If you want to be totally organised and, and you want organised shopping and everything else, then go to Singapore. If you like to experiment with food and things like that, go to Penang in Malaysia. There are some nice little islands just up there too. There are islands in Thailand, Koh Phi Phi, Koh Samui, Phuket, they're overdeveloped. It's hard to find a really nice beach that's not just pumped out. Whereas you go to somewhere like Palawan, right? go to uh, Port Barton in Palawan in the Philippines. Okay. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Not overrun. Um, I stay away from the major major tourist routes because they're they're overdone. 
you don't get to see the real country. You don't right. get to meet the real people, and it's. You were saying because of the uh, you were uh, working for the army. You were, you're st are you still working or? No, no, no. I'm retired. I've been retired now for a few okay. years. Okay, congratulations. So, um, have you also making your own trips? Let's say on holiday or for like. <laughs> Mate, I, I own a boat in, that's in the Philippines at the moment, okay. but I sailed from Australia to the Philippines two no years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, it took me five weeks at sea by myself. What was the like the scariest thing that happened on that boat? Or was it, was well, it smoothless? Well, no, no it, it, pirates weren't the problem. And, and at first, the scariest thing was having the smaller boats come up, thinking that they were pirates, but they weren't. They're normally just fishermen. Right? Okay. And because they're out at sea for days, yeah. they don't take a lot of food with them. Yeah. So they want all they want is some different food to eating fish. You know, so if you take uh, a few tins of different types of stuff and some fresh fruit and veggies, you just throw them a bag and they will throw so, you a really nice big fresh fish. So wait a second, so you, you basically were on, on sea for many days? For five weeks, yeah. For five weeks? Yeah. And then smaller fisher boats came up to you basically asking for food yeah that because most of the asian fishing boats they're not expensive they don't have a lot of money they have a very limited budget for buying food for the okay. people on board yeah so they eat the same things they'll eat a fish curry or a fish stew every day yeah, yeah, so yeah. they wanted something different wow. and they're prepared to swap a big fish for some really nice food haven't been to timor leste uh, okay. been to borneo singapore malaysia thailand Laos, Cambodia. I have been to Indonesia. I had sailed through Indonesia on the way up. Then the question is, what is your favorite place in Southeast Asia? Well, it's that's really a very personal thing because people like different things. Yeah, that's uh, right. I quite like Chiang Mai. Uh, <laughs> if, if I'm going to choose a place to go to, I do not choose the capital city in any of the countries. The problem with a capital city is it attracts people who want to make money. Right? And people who want to make money don't normally have the best character. Right? So you go to the next city down okay. and you don't have the same problem with touts, you don't have the same problem with people trying to steal stuff. It's more relaxed, you get to see more honest representation of the country itself. And you get time to have a look around and see things and find out what you want to do. I phrase it differently, I just try to uh, pull, favorite? pull your favourite, let's say your special place in Southeast Asia. I've got so many. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine, sir. I can imagine. I like Penang, Camotes Island in the Philippines off Cebu. I also like Ormok in Leyte off Cebu. Chiang Mai is very good. Uh, it's reasonably cheap. The people are friendly. They're honest. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Yeah. Life's too short. Go out and live it. There is no promise of tomorrow. So if you've got a wife or a girlfriend, kiss them, hug them and say I love you because there's no guarantee you will wake up tomorrow morning. And I know that from all my friends that have died before they retired. Okay. Uh, Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I actually moved here four months ago to Chiang Mai. I've been doing research for about 10, 12 years before <laughs> I made the de decision to move here. I came and I stayed last year. Uh, I, you know, I made uh, three trips and I stayed a month each time. And I stayed in different uh, sections of Chiang Mai just to make sure that I picked the right section and I so I moved to uh, Namana. To me, living in this section, when I compare it to the United States, is like living in San Diego, okay. where you, you know you just kind of come downstairs, or like Sarasota, Florida. But to live in those areas and retire, you would probably need like five million uh, U.S. Yeah, dollars. Right. Okay. Yeah, 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 and here you, you really, you know, it's just so easy. You come down and you have hundreds and hundreds of restaurants. Over the years, I. You know, I worked seven days a week. Oh, I yeah. uh, had a very hectic job. It was hard for me to travel, uh, but I did travel a little bit in South America. But uh, just doing research online and kind of narrowing things down and talking to a lot of my friends who could travel, just trying to do the research the best I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to Thailand one time before. Went to Bangkok, okay. uh, Pattaya, but knew those weren't places weren't for me and I like the mountains I like motorcycling I love it here <laughs> I love it here too actually one of my favorite places in Southeast Asia uh, are you planning trips to go somewhere soon yes I figured I'll make this my home base yeah. and the airports convenient here yeah. so easy to travel from here Vietnam Singapore Bali so many trips yeah and then also from Europe you know smoky season I'll be here yeah. 
I'll probably spend a little time in Europe. Congratulations on your retirement. Thank you. Can I ask you, this is maybe a very uh, rude question, but I I'm sure a lot of people would like to know this a little bit. How much would you calculate for yourself uh, to retire over here? How much do you need? You know, I'm fortunate. I owned a large company. I could retire anywhere in the world. But I really came here because came here it's very relaxing, the, the nice people. But I would say from the research I've done, if, if, if you want to live, you know, limitless in a city like this, to be honest, 50,000 a year, you can, you never have to cook anything yourself <laughs> and you can live in a top condo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah kind of like the limitless uh, lifestyle. So I live in a very nice luxury condo. I'm out eating every, I, I haven't cooked a single thing and I've been here for four months. So. so how much do you spend a month roughly then? Oh, yeah, well, I'm also like a, a cigar smoker. Ah, okay. So in okay. a nightlife and so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I actually don't keep a budget. Okay. I yeah, just, I just enough. do, I just do whatever. Good on you. So I, I mean, working seven days uh, a week for many years, uh, I think you deserve it. Yeah, I'm happy you. for you. Thank you. After four months being here in Chiang Mai, would you say that you would live here forever? Yes. Yeah, uh, great, great place to live. And if you you want to get get out of town a little bit, so easy. And there's a bunch of near nearby little uh, towns, villages to, to visit. Yeah. Um, so you made a good choice. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, yeah it's That's great. so cool. So 12 years of research from abroad, from yeah. away. Yeah, and you can get on an airplane and go down to a beach for very cheap. Yeah. Uh, change it up a little bit. Your favorite place in Southeast Asia? Oh yeah. Chiang Mai. <laughs> Chiang Mai. Good idea. Uh, do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Um, yeah, just, um, just slow down and relax a little if you can. It's not, it's not always easy to do, um, but, uh, but save money. Try, I know it's hard to do, but try to put some money away and save and then make it so that you can enjoy life later. Phuket, Cambodia, Laos. Um, but most of the time I spend in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. And why Chiang Mai then? What's so good? The good vibes and <laughs> yeah. it's pretty slow pace. I go to Cambodia to do the border run and you stay sometimes stay a couple weeks. I love Cambodia, it's very beautiful. What's your favourite place then in Southeast Asia? Oh, yeah, Chiang, Chiang Mai, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's the best. It's not, too, it's not too full on, it's still pretty chilled and yeah. it's still got a city life but it's more relaxing. And, yeah. Where are you yeah. from in Australia? I'm from Sydney. So compared to Sydney, how is Chiang Mai? It's kind of like 1990 in, in Sydney. Everything's still very social and heaps of restaurants, heaps of cafes, like before the social media came out. And mm. I don't know, kind of, a lot of cities kind of lost their vibe, you know? In Australia? Yeah, yeah a little bit, yeah. Okay. I met a lot of Australians while I was in Bali. It's uh, very oh, yeah. popular, especially yeah. Shimiak and uh, that area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you been there? Yeah, I have, yeah. I was in Bali for about two months, probably a year and a half ago. How was that? Um, yeah, it's good. Yeah just uh, uh, pretty busy and really congested. I love Chiang Mai, but in general, Thailand, it's it's bigger, there's more options. There's, you can jump in your car and drive for 20 hours, or you can do, you can drive to any of the islands, yeah. you know, besides you've got to get a boat over to the island, but yeah. it's just, yeah, it's way better than Bali. Okay. Right? <laughs> like it, it depends if you like, like yeah, heaps yeah, yeah, of people yeah, yeah, yeah. together and well i, I know a lot of people they they're uh, getting a little bit upset about this bali bali because in, yeah. uh, bali is part of indonesia as you know yeah, yeah. and, and uh, people are like oh, I, it is a shame that everyone is going to bali only and yeah. not going to the different parts of yeah. indonesia is massive exactly, like yeah yeah, yeah well. indonesia is beautiful not just bali you know like but um yeah i just love love thailand i've been here for nearly two years again now yeah. Yeah. What is so good about Thailand? What, what is, I mean, the diversity, yeah, yeah. The, the space over here, uh, yeah. I can imagine there are many things. Um, I could walk around Bangkok for all hours of the night, or I could walk around Sh Chiang Mai all hours of the night, all hours of the day. You don't see an argument, you don't see a fight, you don't see no road rage, you don't see, it's just, it's the Buddhist culture, I think, is embedded in, it's just the way, the way the Thai people are. You don't see any violence, any tension, or yeah. Like I think it's the the uh, the moral compass of the way they grow up. I've, you know? I've been to uh, different parts in Australia, and uh, I like to go to the bars. Yeah, and then yeah. uh, after uh, 11 o'clock, the bars t uh, sometimes are uh, less friendly in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like I grew up in Sydney, 
I grew up in a lot of different areas and okay. friends and family. Australia is still amazing, still beautiful, but it's <laughs> there's 20 or 30 different put together. Like what, what do you mean? 20, 20 or 30 different um, cultures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 20 or 30 different religions. So everyone's just, it's very mixed. Like you said, you could go to a bar and someone could say, oh, what are you looking at? And you go, sorry, I don't know, what, you, what are you talking about? Like <laughs> You don't have that here. Bang, like that, then it's on. Yeah. But here, like you could go and do anything you ever, you want and everyone's just peaceful and happy. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's, there's, none, there's none of that. Like you're 99.9.999% you're safe in yeah. Thailand. If you want to have a good balanced lifestyle, um, be around happy people, happy environment, have people have good morals. You just come, come here. That's it, and you're and you're sweet. Yeah. I'll definitely go back to Bali, but you know, for a couple of weeks. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. couldn't picture myself yeah. living there. It's kind of like Bangkok. Like you want to go five kilometers, it's going to take you 40 minutes because yeah. because of all the traffic yeah. and yeah, yeah, the congestion. Yeah. 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 But Chiang Mai and most of other Thailand's pretty open. One thing that maybe is not so pleasant, or something that you would change in Thailand. Um, don't want to get deported. No, um, <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to be careful. You have to be careful a little bit when yeah. say. So. Um, <laughs> what would I change in Thailand? Not much. All right. oh, it's good. <laughs> hey, enjoy. Yeah, I still haven't had them, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's good. I'm very happy with Thailand. Yeah. How many times have you been to Southeast Asia? And how? Oh, several times. Okay. Um, yeah, Malaysia, Borneo, Thailand. Yeah. Where, where else can you can you name them all? Oh, yeah, Singapore, lots of places in Malaysia, 13 times. Wow. Uh, Borneo, Kota Kinabalu, Thailand. I've just done a tuk-tuk tour all around the north of Thailand. Oh, what? Tuk-tuk tour? Yeah, with 12 university friends. Okay. Yeah. How does that go? Is this a, 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 a tuk-tuk, a few tuk-tuks and then going around different cities in the north? Yeah, so six, six tuk-tuks, oh. uh, 12 people, yeah. called the Tuk-Tuk Club and they take us to a different hotel and a different destination oh. every day. So we did everything, the elephants washing, wow. the temples, the yeah. rice paddy fields. I'm going home tomorrow. Oh, right. How long was your trip? Uh, 18 days. Now the question, what's your favorite place uh, so far in Southeast Asia? Oh, um, well, Thailand has to be up there for the food. Okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely for the food. I also get clothes made when I'm here. I've had some suits made. Well, just uh, like your, your regular tailor that you go to? Or? No, 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 I've just found one and, you know, we booked it and I had a suit fitting. And then when we got back from the trip, it's ready tonight. So okay. yeah. Also had all my ears done uh, oh, here. It's very, pretty. very cheap here, isn't it? Silver is cheap and everything. Is oh, silver is uh, cheaper here than in the UK? Yeah, a lot oh, cheaper, okay. yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's so interesting in Malaysia? You, you went there so, so many times. Yeah, uh, well, I did a bit of work out there. And, uh, oh, sorry? Yeah. I did a bit of work. Oh, okay. So I had went back for work a few times, but also like... Um, like the islands, so there's a lot of islands there, yeah. um, off the east and west coast, so I've spent some beach holidays on the islands. Uh, I like the food, I think there's less vice there. Oh, vice, Malaysia. what do you mean by that? So there's, not as much, there's not as much of a red light feel about it, oh, yeah. which I spot as a woman. Also I do a lot of, I do all the cooking schools when I come. Oh yeah? So I'm doing one tonight, I did Malaysian ones in Langkawi. Okay. Yeah, so you're a good cook now? Um, I'm, I'm a getting, I'm a good Asian cook, a good Asian, yeah. not a very good English cook, <laughs> okay. but English food isn't great oh, anyway. Right. <laughs> Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? About Thailand? It could be anything. Oh, um, I've got a few. There are no pockets in the shroud, which means you can't take your money with you when you die. So spend it. Okay. Uh, that's the main one. And the other thing is, something somebody taught me once, uh, Woody Allen once said, 95% of all successes in life are due to just having turned up in the first place. So don't dither, just do it, just go. My favorite place in Southeast Asia, it is hard to say, I've got a few. I do love Chiang Mai at the moment, but uh, yeah, Da Nang in Vietnam is also growing on me. Kuala Lumpur is turning into one of my favorite cities. I'm super excited to explore more of my Indonesian roots, this time with my mom at the end of this year. Hopefully you join me for this search. And Cambodia is coming up very soon. I am leaving for Cambodia for a small Cambodian series. Let us know what your favorite place in South Southeast Asia is in the comment section and also the reasons why it is your favorite place. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. I would like to say from Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand, bye for now and 
Stay champ.